Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I want to show you this really cool tool that's going to help you to engage with Instagram. Now, as you may or may not know, engagement on Instagram is key right now. It's just so, so important. What you'll find on Instagram is that if you engage with people on Instagram, they will come and engage with you. Instagram is very kind of karmic like that. So if you comment on someone's post or if you like someone's post, there's a better chance that they're going to come and comment and like your posts and maybe even follow you, which is great. So this tool is called Combine, and uh, this is what it looks like. You download it onto your computer, onto your desktop. Um, it's a computer tool. And you hook up your own Instagram account to it. And so this is my Instagram right here. You can see all my posts that I've put on here, whatever. Okay, where it's, where it's really, really interesting is over here where it allows you to do some stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here into search. And you can see I already have... Um, search terms that I've already put in there on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove these um, and I'm going to start with new ones. So what I do is every single day I come onto this tool, I click on add search and I throw in some hashtags on there. So I'm a sort of a vegan vegetarian blogger so what I do is I like to do a search for popular hashtags in that niche. So I'm going to type in the hashtag vegan and what it's going to do is it comes up with a whole bunch of different hashtags that I can um, choose from. You can choose any of these if you want to. The other thing that you can do is you can tell Instagram, you can um, uh, geolocate the actual um, content. So uh, anybody that's using the vegan food hashtag, in this particular case, I don't mind. I'm saying anybody anywhere, but what you could do is geolocate that within basically your area. So I live in Vancouver, so I can tell it what I want is to only look for posts that are hashtagged vegan food that are within my neighborhood or within my, my city where I live, which is super smart. Um, in this particular case, I'm just gonna leave it with any time. You can set your search limit and you can set um, when it was posted, so you can say, I only want to look at stuff in the last two weeks. Um, and then you can also do things like, for example, if you want to only post on more popular account or more popular posts, um, you, can, you can adjust the amount of likes that that post has gotten, or you can adjust the amount of comments that that's gotten. For me, quite honestly, I like to um, comment and like posts that actually don't have a ton of love because they're smaller accounts and there's probably a better chance that they're going to come and look at my stuff and give me some love in return. So I'm just going to click on find and what it's going to do is it's going to search through and it's going to find hash photos with hashtags that are hashtagged vegan food. Now you have a couple of other, now you have a couple of things that you can do with this um, now that you're in here. One of the things that you can do is you can go through and like every single one of these posts. So you can just tell uh, Combine that you want to like every one of these posts and it will do that for you. And you just do that by clicking on this heart button. If you click on the heart button, it will go through and like every single one of these posts. If you do a long click on the heart button, it'll go through and like the last two posts of all of these guys, which is kind of cool. What I like to do, and I will do that in a minute, what I like to do first though is I like to go through and comment on some of these posts. So what I do is I'm going to go through and cherry pick the ones that I like the best. So I like this one, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one. These are all like really beautiful posts that are well done. Oh, look at those beautiful beet lattes. I want to like those. That's a really pretty post. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and really cherry pick the ones that I like the best. And then once I have a few of these, um, usually I'll pick maybe like between 7 to 10. Then what I do is I'll come here and I'll click on this option. Now, what it allows me to do here is to comment on these 10 posts that I've just chosen. Now I can write individual comments for each individual one or... I can click on recent and what you'll see is that these are 
comments that I have already created and I can just choose these comments and it will post on them. So I have, these are comments that I have written. So looks so good, looks so good, so pretty, whoa, tasty, uh, holy yum, and mm. I'm gonna click on add comments and now what's gonna happen is if we go down here and click on tasks, what it's gonna tell me is that it's currently commenting on those 10 posts that I just chose. It's gonna post randomly from amongst those different comments that I chose, it's gonna randomly post on each one of those. So I didn't, I think I chose about seven different comments, so each one of those will have a different comment except for three will have the same comment. So it's really smart way to every day connect with the people that are out there that are talking about the things that you are interested in. Generally speaking, what I like to do is I like to comment on people that I don't maybe already follow. I'm trying to find new people, new interesting people to follow. So I hope that you found this useful. This is a cool tool. I use it every single day, maybe for 10 or 15 minutes, just to find and connect with people who are interested in the same kind of stuff that I'm interested in. So. Have a look at this tool, download it, check it out. You can use it for free up to a certain amount. In this particular case, I have a daily limit of 100 likes per day, 50 comments, and to follow 50 new people per day. But I won't get into that stuff. I won't get into the follow, unfollow stuff right now. Just talk about liking and commenting on people's posts. So check it out, it's a very cool tool. And let me know what you think of it in the comments below if you checked it out. Thanks for watching.